Hi, Air Signs. These readings will be in celebration of autumn 2018 for Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, and we'll do it in that order. So let's go ahead and get started with Libra, jump right into what Librans can prepare for in autumn 2018. Perhaps a significant um, fire sign, youthful feminine fire sign who's will be sharing your space during autumn uh, 2018, is coming to visit, is coming to stay with you, um, maybe is a new roommate, um, it could be that you're expecting a child, um, that you are going and visiting someone, a friend, a family member, Librans. You also need to be open to um, new perspectives in um, autumn 2018. Your perspective may need to shift about someone or something in particular, maybe this youthful feminine fire sign who will be in your life. It could be a new love interest even. Um, but there will be some heartbreak. There will be some heartbreak in autumn 2018 by the end of it. Um, that doesn't mean that it's necessarily about that feminine, youthful fire sign, Libras. Uh, it could be It could be in regards to love. It could be in regards to a partnership. Not necessarily a romantic one, but it does look like um, your advice is to form bonds. Your advice is to um, move ahead with a partnership, again, perhaps with a feminine fire sign here. Um, and we do have the king of air, of swords, right underneath her then. So I'll let you take a look at this with me, Libras. We've got the Page of Wands, the Ace of Swords in Reverse, and your advice showing up as the, as the Two of Cups. So while I do see heartbreak in Autumn 2018, I still see the advice being to, like I said, go ahead with a partnership, go ahead with a bond, uh, go ahead with forming a couple of, of, of sorts. Now again, that doesn't necessarily mean romantic. For a lot of Libras, it is definitely a romantic situation. Um, now, what I'm feeling from this is that a feminine, I'm, I'm speaking to Libras who have a, a, a feminine, youthful feminine fire sign coming into their life at this time or someone who embodies those qualities, someone who's youthful in their in their spirit and soul, who's fiery in their personality, even if they don't actually identify as a fire sign or you don't identify them as a fire sign, right? Um, and it could just be, be that you're receiving a message from a person like this, uh, that like like I'm describing, but, but for a lot of Libras, that energy is actually coming into your space, like I started out saying. And what I'm feeling is that you need to be open to um, a new perspective about this person because it may not be um, the type of roommate or business partner or romantic partner or um, new friend that you would expect. It, it may not be the type of person that you would normally jive with, that you would normally uh, mix well with, but you, you're thrown together, again, either in a housing situation or perhaps you, you find yourselves drawn to one another, even though you're not, they are not your typical type. Um, but I see that you need to have a new perspective to 
well, I'd be open to new perspectives and, and the advice is, like I said, to let, let this partnership form, whatever nature it is. And, and, and what I'm feeling is that, th that it, though it does lead to heartbreak for you, it may not be, I don't think it is heartbreak that ends the partnership, right? I think they, they, something about your interaction, your, your entanglement, your commitment to one another does lead to some heartbreak for you. The type of heartbreak that you, one must move through. And I think it helps you grow. And maybe for some Libras, that is the end of this, this partnership that we're looking at, uh, in, in, um, autumn of 2018 and it doesn't necessarily have to be a new partnership it could be one that has been growing and been forming and it just is still relevant or even more significant in autumn 2018 uh, but I think it it the lesson here is the nine of pentacles so I think it teaches you something about um, standing on your own uh, being being independent being grateful for for that which you are able to bring in and earn and, and have all on your own, Libras. Um, for other Libras, that that is... Um, that is the scenario for some Libras. For other Libras, there is a, um, huh. For other Libras, there is a fiery, youthful, feminine energy uh, bringing in a message to you about a betrayal, a lie, um, some manipulation, some dishonesty in your love life. And it turns out to be true. You find out that it's true that, and, and it breaks your heart. I'm sorry to say, um, that's the scenario for some. The advice is to still honor your commitments. Okay, so if you've made a commitment to somebody and a friend of yours, a youthful, fiery, uh, or, or a youthful fire sign comes to you and says, no, you know, I saw so-and-so at XYZ on this date, you, you have to be open to new perspectives. You know, are they, are they lying? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, is the person bringing you the message lying or is the person you're with lying? You have to be open to new perspectives. You have to be open to, to the possibility that <coughs> the truth is something that you don't see coming, okay, for some of you. And and like I said, it, it, I'm not telling you that for all of you it, it is true, but for those of you, uh, for, for a lot of Libra Librans, it does turn out to be true uh, that, that someone has betrayed you, not necessarily a partner, Um well, it's certainly someone that you're, you're, you're partnered with in some way, but not necessarily a romantic partner, I mean to say. It does turn out that they've, they've lied, and, and, and while it does break your heart, like I said, the lesson is about your own independence. The lesson is about being grateful for what you have on your own, being able to move forward on your own, um, to let go of this person if, if they've betrayed you in such a way that, that, that the partnership can't be saved that you don't want a reconciliation and it seems that these are lessons that this that this is one of those lessons that had to be to be learned uh libras and i that that's not to demean what you're you'll be feeling in autumn if that's your scenario um either way it's 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 a lesson that that we all move through at at some time or another um but again the the advice is to still honor your commitment. So so what I was headed for there originally is if someone comes to you and tells you so and so was seen at XYZ and you find out that in fact it is true, 
that someone has betrayed you. The, the advice that I see on the board is, is not to retaliate. Don't then, if for example, it is a romantic partnership and your partner has, has cheated on you and you find out about it, uh, the advice is not is to still remain true to your commitment. That speaks of them. The fact that they betrayed you speaks of them. That speaks of that speaks to how they don't honor their commitments. But that has nothing to do with you and your commitments. You still have the option to be upfront with them, be forthright with them, end the relationship before you embark on another one. And the advice also may be to go ahead and embark on another one, especially. If, um, if you were, uh, already thinking about it, already having doubts about the partnership you're in currently, but, but with the two of cups in the upright, I still see the advice as to do it in an honorable way, to honor the commitment, first of all, that you already made, even though they didn't in some, in some Libras scenarios, that's the case. Because in the nine of pentacles energy, when you're feeling independent and grateful for all that you have and realizing that you don't need that commitment, you don't need a partner, um, life is beautiful and what you've earned for yourself is beautiful and you can really appreciate that the rewards around you are something that you, you did for yourself, you, you, you created for yourself. In that space, you don't, you don't want even a corner of your subconscious mind to be hung up on guilt and on questioning, did I do the right thing? Did I handle it incorrectly? Am I, am I in, in a moral gray area? You know, you, you don't have to be in that space. You can just honor your commitment the way that you originally intended to in spite of the fact that you chose someone who... I won't even say someone who, 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 who wasn't worthy, but who, who, who ended up in a situation where they, they just couldn't honor the commitment the same way that you hoped the two of you would, right? Um, yeah, yeah. So this is going a little bit longer than I intended it to, Libras. But I did want to get one more card from you from the Dreams of Gaia tarot deck. And all of these tarot decks will be listed in the description of the video. They always are. Now this is where you can expect to receive support. Interesting. The Six of Earth reversed. From yourself to me the message that message is, is from yourself it is a this this partnership should have been this is true for Libras across the board whether or not this is a new partnership a partnership that's ending a partnership that's beginning um, in, in any case at some point along the way it's going to cause you some heartbreak this season, this autumn, 2018. So um, regardless of the, the specific situations, whether it's an ending, a beginning, a middle for a partnership, um, the, the, you will receive the support this season from yourself because this is, this is a partnership that you hoped would be an equal give and take. It should be an equal give and take. Yes, that is what a partnership is, but it's out of balance. Someone is giving too much. Someone is taking too much. And so in remaining true to your commitments and celebrating your independence, where you will be receiving the support this season is from yourself as you move through this heartbreak of different degrees for different Libras. Like I said, do be open to, to new perspectives. Okay, I hope that I hope that offered you something, Libras, that you didn't have before you visited this autumn 2018 reading. And um, I will now move on to Gemini.
Geminis. Hi, Geminis. Let's see what you can expect, what you can be open for, open to, what you can be prepared for in autumn 2018. Gemini's. Be prepared for new love. <laughs> you don't need to be prepared for. Well, be prepared for some intense sharing, okay? So it looks like a lot of Gemini's are looking at a new love. A lot of Gemini's are looking at a renewed love. Um, in any case, um, there will be some intense sharing. If it's work you're doing, you love to do it. If it, and it could be for some a romantic love. I think for a lot, a lot of Gemini's, the message is about about work you love to do, a project you love to do, and it gains, it gains some some wealth for you in autumn two thousand eighteen. That's exciting, Gemini's. And, and yeah, your advice is that you don't need to hold on so tightly to your resources. I see financial gains, material gains, uh, maybe a new house, uh, maybe a new, possibly a new job, a raise, certainly uh, feeling wealthier, having more income. And, it's, and, and I think it's as a result of, of doing I don't see the three of the three of pentacles here, but I think it's work you love to do. Or it is perhaps if it's a new love that's a romantic partnership, forming this bond and this partnership and combining your household could mean uh, some gains for, for, for one or both of you financially. And I think that there's a significant Libra for a lot of Geminis who... Uh, either comes to stay with you or, or uh, starts spending more time around you in autumn 2018 or whom you 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 go to see go to visit go to spend time around this ace of cups here the ace of cups is an opportunity for happiness for you um whether it's a new love or intense sharing, but I think for most Geminis, it's both. Um, so with with the phrase intense sharing, a lot of times it can mean a work that you love to do that uh, that has to do with sharing um, sharing a lot of yourself with other people. Maybe literally sharing online um, on the web in some way. The way we share these videos on YouTube. Um, or just opening up and, and, and sharing with with a lot a lot of people. I see that being um, that being the message for a lot of Gemini's. A lot of Gemini's are finding the the heart space and the mind space and the courage really um, is the word to share their dreams, their fears, their mistakes, their hopes, their wishes with with other people. Maybe um, your soul tribe is forming around you. Maybe you've started. Uh, going to some some type of support group, some type of meeting. Um, maybe you're just you're just getting closer to those energies that have have always been available friends around you. Uh, but in some way, some Gemini's are, are opening up and gaining because of that, gaining connections, uh, networking, friendships, and maybe just emotional and and moral support. But I think it also leads to like I, like I said before, financial support material of wealth and abundance as well some place to stay um, a new home a new uh, a promotion <clears throat> maybe a new job opportunity or, or investment opportunity in general like uh, the, the opportunity then to invest uh, in a friend's business but again because because again the advice is 
not to hold on too tightly to your money. Now, I don't want to, I don't want to say that all Gemini's are in a clear to make all investments in autumn 2018. Of course, that's, that's, that's taking it too far. But I think the message here is that a lot of you will have the uh, means to do so. You don't need to keep your boundaries up around your energy uh, so high, so tight in general. You can, you can allow some of yourself to show to the people around you, share with them. You can um, allow some of your wealth to show to the people around with, uh, to the people around you, and and physically share with them in that way. Share resources. You, you'll be able to afford to. And, and it, 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 it is in allowing those resources to flow out that we invite them to flow back in, right? I mean, we hear that all the time. <laughs> and we have to remember that as we begin to gain. Because it looks like definitely... Definitely... It, by the 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 end of autumn if not sooner there will be some gains and well we'll have to remember that as we build our savings up or, or make plans for what we will do with with those resources in the future that that it is only in in giving to others around us and allowing an outflow that we invite that inward flow to continue to 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 keep that cycle moving now the justice card showing up my first instinct was to say that it, it's a libra coming in um it's also a precise and impartial truth that cuts away the untrue it can be the law entering your life um or just becoming more significant around that time it's an indication that karma is balanced. So for some for some Gemini's For some, for some Geminis, you're finding that you're finding who who you can keep around you as you begin to gain. You're doing better financially. Um, you're opening up and sharing. I think in more than than one way this season with others. Um, Tis that season, right? We're approaching, fast approaching. Um, those types of thoughts being buzzing all around us, right? Being in every commercial, etc. So that's not. Um, that makes sense. That it makes sense as a message to come through in a general reading to me. Uh, but but I think yeah, you'll be you'll we're talking about you sharing emotionally, but also sharing financially. And as you're opening up and inviting people in, mentally, emotionally, physically, uh, uh, sharing your resources, sharing of your mind and your heart, you're seeing who's true. The precise and, and, and impartial truth is cutting away the untrue. You, you're, you're able to see, um, I think, who, who is, is only there for, for the resources you have to offer, who doesn't respond uh, in a kind way to, to some of the emotional things that you open up about. Um, and the precise and impartial truth cuts away the untrue. And what you're looking at, and I think it will become apparent to you, Geminis, by the end of, of autumn 2018, See this here you are the queen of swords seeing the truth that I'm talking about. You can you can see the truth. You can see who belongs around you, who's there just for the 
just for the resources, who's there, um, just for what you have to offer them financially or, 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 or what you can offer them in their career, or maybe you, you work together and you're cutting those energies away that are really just there to use you. Um, <clears throat> but I think it'll be apparent by the end of autumn that what, what you're looking at is your karma clearing. Now, some of you are dealing with the law. Some of you will be dealing with the law. Probably in relation to your finances. Um, but most Geminis are looking at their karma. They're realizing by the end of the season that, that their karma has balance. That's what's led them there. This uh, this opportunity for happiness, this opportunity to to share openly with those around you, probably because you feel you've gained um, confidence and literally money, resources, uh, financial opportunities as well recently, it, it is a result of your, your karma having been balanced. This ability to see through the people around you, see who needs cut out, who needs removed, who, like I said, is just there to 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 use you to take what you have to offer. Um, that that too is your karma as a result of is a product of your karma having balanced. Um, the fact that you have the ability to identify those people now. <clears throat> Your support is your emotions. Your emotions are your support this season. So I see the Ace of Cups, this intense sharing, and, and, and I know that that's an opportunity for happiness. And, and I see emotions showing up as your support. Uh, it makes me, I think that the, the, the support really is in leaning into that sharing with those around you in autumn 2018. Acknowledging that you are slowly healing in many ways all the time. We all are keeping that in mind, relying on what grounds you spiritually, what anchors you spiritually, uh, communicating with your emotions about how you feel about those things. Are they, are they angels? Are they dragons? Um, who, who are your, your anchors, your spirit, spirit guides, and how are you emotionally connected to them? How do they communicate with you through your emotions? How do they communicate with us through our emotions? Um, what are your true emotions toward the weakest parts of you, the saddest parts, the most broken parts, the parts that are still slowly healing, the parts that are taking the longest to heal? Uh, communicate with yourself about how you, how you truly feel about those things, um, about those parts of you. The fact that those are realities within you and with all of us. This, this is what's being communicated to me through these these images here, but I'll let you sit with them for just a minute. Hi. Hi. Um, I'm right in the middle of a recording. Thank you. Um, I need, um, I don't know, 15 more minutes. Okay. 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 I'm sorry. That's okay. <clears throat> okay, so that is that is Gemini, uh, autumn 2018. And um, oh, I'm sorry, I almost stopped before your lesson. Um, the Deviant Moon Tarot what it will give us your lesson. Um, the Page of uh, Wands in Reversed is. A message being blocked, um, a project lacking energy. It, 
it also often speaks of a youthful, fiery, feminine energy and is in the reverse. So there could be an energy that um, So it is possible that there is a lesson for Geminis um, in autumn regarding a fire sign, a feminine fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, or, or um, Aries, um, or someone who embodies those, those fiery um, qualities someone bold, uh, energetic, ambitious, social, social, um, there could be a lesson regarding someone, um, regarding a message you, you, you may not be receiving from, from a youthful, feminine, fiery energy, or someone who embodies those qualities, um, more likely, many Geminis are, are encountering a lesson regarding a project of theirs that is not moving forward the way they had hoped with as much energy or speed. It's, it's blocked for some reason. Um, and, and it may be connected to there being a blocked message from uh, or, or for that fiery feminine ener energy. So for some, it's it's both messages, Gemini's. But but for for most of us, we're looking at um, either trying to take on too many projects at once and learning a lesson about how that can burn our energy out, or just being too too um, much of a perfectionist about the project we're working on and, and how maybe that burns us out or maybe um, your our project is lacking energy some project in autumn is lacking energy for another reason um, for a few as I said you know it can be both messages so for a few it is because uh, for a few of you Geminis, it is because you are focused on that fiery, feminine energy that you're not receiving a message from. And, and that is, in turn, your emotions are then causing a block in your work. Um, there's going to definitely be a lesson associated with um, how your communication, your willingness to communicate with yourself about your own emotions, your, your willingness to share openly with others, um, give and receive new love, a renewed love, how that is connected to the energy you have for any project you are passionate about in, in, in August and moving forward from August. For many Gemini's, I, for many Gemini's, it's it's a matter of trying to do too much, um, because this 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 project, this inspired project in the upright, can be in the reverse, either lacking energy because someone is unprepared or lazy or doesn't have everything they need to move forward, or it can be that someone puts so much energy and effort into this inspired project that then they run out of energy because they're just trying to do too much. And I think that's the definition of, of us in terms of whatever project really makes us feel passionate and inspired in autumn. And that might be a relationship, but I think more likely here we're talking about something that, that allows us um, some financial gain specifically. Okay, so that is for Geminis. I'm sorry your reading got a little um, split in half there. I had to relocate 
for a few days. Just, I'm just back and forth all the time, just visiting someplace other than home for a few days and took the day to go to a renaissance festival. Honestly, I, in your reading earlier, I asked for those 15 minutes and then I started to, to return the reading and to return to the reading and just started to try to concentrate and I just knew I couldn't do it. Um, someone was, someone was waiting on me, you know, I just couldn't, could not. Uh, anyway, uh, moving on to Aquarius. Okay, Aquas for Autumn 2018. Aquarius in Aqua, I'm sorry, in September 2018. Is an Aries coming in? Is an Aries not coming in? Aquas. Is he or she or isn't he or she? Are you letting them in? Are they coming in? Yes or no? There's, um, we're unsure in autumn, right? For some of you, there's already a significant Aries energy in your life, and you're just, oh, wow. Uh, Gemini's just had the... <laughs> Gem Aqua's Gemini's just had the Libra card in the same position. Air, air, air. Um, and then, I, as I say that, we've got the Ten of Swords right in the center of the reading here. You, we need to, Aqua's, we need to be open to something ending. At this time in autumn 2018 um, at least by the end of autumn 2018 we need to be we need to be open to the idea of letting a painful negative cycle finish what exactly that painful ne negative cycle is for each of us what it entails what letting it end entails is of course different we need to be open to the idea of letting a significant uncomfortable again quite negative cycle that's that's been repeating in our life or, or that we've been resisting and or that we've been resisting letting and we need to be open to the idea of letting it come to a close this autumn for some of for some of you it has to do with um, going between an Aries and a Libra and 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 we're not behaving entirely ethically in that case Aquarians um, huh especially if we have some significant Taurus in our charts interesting for myself huh and, and along those lines, I mean, maybe it may be, it may be something, it may be some kind of going between an Aries and Libra that you don't even realize there's anything wrong with, Aquarius, because if this applies to me in the way that I think it might, I didn't realize there was anything wrong with that. Um, I mean, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see it as, as such a negative, painful thing. Um, but, th but there's something, 
well, not necessarily just unethical. There's either something unethical about it, or there's just something not traditional about it for others. But there is this warning here of, um, energies around you, inviting energies around us that aren't really like-minded energies, that aren't really kindred spirits, that don't really see the world the same way we do, feel the same way. It's not to say that we can't or shouldn't be around people who see things differently, but there's just this warning of being careful of, of inviting people around us who we may think are kindred spirits, but actually just don't see things the same way. Um, okay, so here's... But in this ending, okay, in this ending, this pain, the, in, the ending to this negative painful cycle that, that, that is coming our way, a lot of, a lot of us aquas in, in autumn 2018, we see justice. We see possibly, yes, a significant Aries and or Libra energy around us, possibly a significant, uh, Taurus around us. But I really see this as, as advice. Yeah, I really see this as advice. And, and, and like I said, to... To be wary of unethical behavior, to be wary of um, listening to teachers who are not humble, do not have your best interest at heart, do not know what they are talking about, um, but also as advice to take a non-traditional approach to something this autumn, um, possibly this ending that we're talking about. And if it's not a significant Aries and or Libra, then I see a new beginning, a brand new beginning, obviously, in the Fool, the very first card of the Major Arcana, card zero, um, a fresh start, a, a curious, uninhibited, open, free mind, like a curious cat or a brand new baby, starting something you've never tried before, uh, starting something in a whole new way, and, and, and as I said, are we letting this Aries energy in or aren't we? Uh, if it's not an Aries individual, then it's, are we letting this new beginning start or aren't we, is what I see with this card coming out sideways. And, and it may be that we're unsure how to let this new beginning start, whether it's with a, an Aries or not, because it means letting something end. And the only way for us to do it, no surprise here, Aquarians, is to take a non-traditional approach. We're not going. We're not going to go about this new beginning in this and this ending to this painful cycle the same way that many people would. Um, the advice may be to look to the Taurian part of your chart. Uh, the advice could be to uh, let an Aries part of your chart take over, if that's um, if that speaks to you. If that if, if there's a part of your chart that that you know of that is significant to you, that's Aries energy, um, but, 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 I also, but I see justice in this ending, I see precise and impartial truth cutting away the untrue. A lot of you a lot of us are uh, scared to move forward with this fresh new beginning and allow this ending to take place because it's a risk. Like I said, we're trying something different. We're doing something different than we ever have before, and it's a risk. But again, precise and impartial truth cuts away the untrue. So if we're talking about um, a risk in work, perhaps, then... The way you do your work, the way you communicate your work to other people, uh, the way you advertise your work, the way you sell your product, um, do it honestly. 
precise and impartial truth cuts away the untrue. So if you're nervous to take this risk, I mean, this is this is the way that the risks. This is the way you can. That is the way you can ensure the risk um, isn't as much of one. Yes, you can approach things in a non-traditional way, but be mindful of approaching things in an, in an unethical way. And you might be advised to do that or encouraged to do that because of individuals around you that you think are, again, like-minded or kindred spirits, but they're just, they may not be. And you may need to isolate, not isolate, um, alienate yourself from those individuals a little bit, move away from those individuals a little bit, um, but the new beginning could be in a relationship, it could be in a new home, it could be a whole new way of life, a new lifestyle, a new way of being. It doesn't necessarily just have to be about work. That's, that's just an example. Uh, it could be about a, an investment that is a risk but will change your life. Um, and your, your lesson is in being no longer being earthbound. I think a lot of Aquarians have beliefs, deeply rooted beliefs about what they can achieve, what they are capable of, um, how they can they can achieve what they want to. Um, and so this risk feels very dangerous this autumn. And we, we are no longer held to the same limitations that we always have been. We, we, we no longer have to be confined by those beliefs. That's what we can let go of. That's, that's the way in which we no longer need to be earthbound. Uh, we can do much more than we, than we once thought ourselves capable of. <coughs> Excuse me, Aquarius. Um... We're no longer um, we're no longer stuck. We're no longer uh, confined by those beliefs. But the hangman in re reverse could also be talking about a lesson about being unable to let go of those beliefs being unable to sacrifice an old version of ourselves, maybe one that's attached to someone or something else, a significant partner, a significant home, a significant routine, a job that we're used to. Um, and, and there's a victim mentality associated with it. We don't want to be tied to this thing anymore, at least not to our detriment. Uh, and, 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 and so we have a victim mentality about it, but we're the only ones keeping ourselves there. A lot of it's rooted in our beliefs. Again, those beliefs are deeply rooted. And, and let's look at what can support us. You know, we have the advice to uh, approach this problem in a non-traditional way. And... We see that the lesson is going to be about sacrificing something that we feel incapable of sacrificing. Again, probably a part of ourselves, a belief system, a version of ourselves. That, that can be very hard to let go of. But precise and impartial truth cuts away the untrue, Aquarius. So if we're honest with ourselves about who we are now, what we want now, where we want to go, what we want our life to look like, like then we have to allow that precise and impartial truth that candid truth with ourselves and our own mind and hearts about where we're heading and, and why we want to head there, that, if we acknowledge it, if we just be honest with ourselves about that, that precise and impartial truth will cut away those old parts of ourselves, whether we want to let them go or not, right? They will tell us this no longer fits. This isn't, this just isn't who you are anymore. It's not comfortable. I keep, I keep thinking of the word advertise. For some of you, the, um, it has to do with, with with your work has to do with advertisement but but for a lot of us I'm talking about the way we advertise ourselves not matching who we actually are anymore or actually want to be and as and as we have that advice to handle this in a non-traditional way 
what supports us. If you are, if you are an Aquarius who has a situation between an Aries and a Libra that needs to end, that may be unethical, uh, be mindful of which one of them, if you have a choice to make about that, be mindful of which one of them is being insincere. It could be that some Aquarians are not looking to sacrifice the one who, in fact, is actually being insincere. to say which which one of which one of the energies that is yes the fool the aries energy showed up sideways the libra energy is upright that may speak to you um specifically in general i see just the message to do to, to be mindful of which one is being insincere and your support is the ace of water the ace of cups or the ace of water New love, renewed love, intense sharing, an opportunity for for happiness because of new love and or intense sharing. New love for this new version of yourself that you embrace as you let this old version of yourself end and let it go so that you can take a risk begin this new journey new love for one of these energies if you've got this if you're sandwiched in between this Aries and, and Libra um, renewed love for one of them perhaps maybe the support here acknowledging that what you have on the other side of this ending is an opportunity for happiness could be your support here It may be that the new beginning, if it has to do with work for some of you, entails intense sharing with your clients, with other people. Um, Gemini or, or Libra got this, got this card as well uh, in a different deck, but, but still. Um, and, that, and that that is your support at this time, turning to that type of intense sharing. Maybe, in, maybe sharing this situation it is a, a major significant you've got three major four major arcana out of six showing up so this is a a very significant season for well many of us but definitely for Aquarians um, in terms of starting over being born again starting fresh and approaching this chapter in your own way, in our own way. Um, being mindful of that, of, that means being mindful of the energies we are letting in and being around us, but, but, but moving forward in a, in a style unique and authentic and genuine to us. <clears throat> and that's why we're being mindful of who we have around us. That's why we're having to allow the precise and impartial truth to cut away the untrue. That may mean people. Often it does. Um, but again, the support, what helps us let go of whatever we're trying to hold on to, whether it's, whether it's someone outside of ourselves or an old version of ourselves or old ways, um, old habits, patterns, beliefs, etc., whatever we need to release to have our new beginning um, what helps us is is it is a new or renewed love I think it's a brand new love we have a brand new beginning after and, and alongside a painful ending and I think that this this is it is a new love for this new way this new version of ourselves this new life this new set of habits, beliefs, patterns, 
all the above. Okay, um, I will leave you there. Aquarians, thank you so much for checking out the reading. Um, do check out the, the description below if you are interested in a personal reading. All of your options are there. And otherwise, um, I'll have another tarot fix posted for you as soon as I can. I love you, Aquas.